best known for her number one hit song, Friends and Lovers, and her six-year stint on Days of Our Lives as Liz Chandler. Yes, and now she is adding author to her resume with her brand new book, Coincidence is God's Way of Remaining Anonymous. Would you please welcome multi-talented Gloria Loring. Come here, Gloria. Oh, you look so great. Thank you. You look so wonderful. You're so cute. I left you up on the horse. Oh, my goodness. Well... <laughs> I had to dress horse appropriate. I know you look fabulous. You look fabulous. Thank you. Oh my Thank goodness! So it is so great to have you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And you know what? As I look at at your your book, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. Mm -hmm. What a what a wonderful title. Well, it's titled with a quote by Albert Einstein. I was just going to say, is that that's Albert Einstein's quote? Yeah. If you're going to borrow, borrow from somebody really smart. You know. <laughs> right. <laughs> so how does coincidence? play a pivotal role in your life that caused you to to come up with this book well you're a mom and when my son Brennan was four years old he was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes which many people know because I was very active in raising money and all and when I joined days of our lives Brennan had asked me mama when are my shots gonna be over and I couldn't say never you know so I said well I don't know but I'm working on it and I felt in that sense in that sense that I made him a promise in a way and so when I joined days of our lives I noticed that everybody was trading recipes Piece, you know all the actors and I came up with this idea to create a days of our life celebrity cookbook well long story short people helped me it was so ex extraordinary ten months later I had everything ready to go except I had no money to pay for the printing and 24 hours before I met the benefactor who helped underwrite the printing a little card that said expect a miracle showed up in my dressing room at days of our lives now to this day I don't know who put it there I never found out out. But this little business card was there, and I picked it up, and I was going to throw it in the trash, and it's as if a little voice inside said, don't throw away a card that says expect a miracle. And I'm like, what are you, crazy? Isn't so, that true? <laughs> so I threw it in my carry bag. I went to Houston that night, whole other city. And I met this man who I'd met briefly once before, and I told him about the cookbook, and he said, he said, well, he said, what do you, how much do you need? And I said, well, I need $40,000 to print 50,000 copies of the book. And he said, well, heck, honey, he said, I'll give you 10,000. Come on, let's go out in the lobby. This is Texas, and I got some friends here tonight. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I know, and, and the money came up now. Now we, those cookbooks, to the volume one and volume two. Wait, did, so you got the money that night? We got half the money that night. The rest of the money, after trying for a year, came in within four weeks. It was like the floodgates opened. We printed the first 50,000, sold them out, printed another 50,000, sold them out, did a volume two, sold that out. One million dollars was raised for diabetes research. Oh my goodness. But. That's fantastic. Well, yeah, that's, and a, a lot of people helped. But the extraordinary thing was, see, I came from a family where there was alcoholism, dysfunction, stuff that shouldn't have gone on. I thought that I was all alone in the world, that if I didn't do it, it didn't get done. And that little card showing up in my dressing room saying, expect a miracle, started me thinking. And it was when I was talking with someone like you who was interviewing me, and I said, you know, isn't that an amazing coincidence? And this man said, yes, but you know, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. I said, wait, wait a second, wait a second, let me write that down. Tell me that <laughs> coincidence is God's way of remaining Where anonymous. Where have I heard that before? I hadn't heard it. I'd never heard oh, it. Oh, my goodness. And then every time I told the story about the million dollars, I would repeat that little tagline, coincidence is God's way, and people's ears would perk up. And then over the years, I started to become aware that these extraordinary coincidences were happening in my life. And I don't think I'm that special. Don't we oh, all have things, are. people who show up? I see so many faces nodding. I mean, we know people show up. And so so I started researching the subject of coincidence. The fact that a scientist talked about this concept go. of the supreme intelligence and creativity of the universe coming to our aid, being there for us, and I figured out finally that we are a participant in how our life unfolds. Well, you know, one of the things it says in, in the scripture that it, the reason miracles cease is because lack of faith. And faith, to me, is a positive attitude. It's expecting, like you said, those miracles, those coincidences, yes. or whatever. And I think that what a powerful concept. And I think people need that nowadays. They need more hope in their life, don't you think? Well, people ask me, yeah, absolutely. So, 
So here, after 23 years of study, it took me 12 years to write this book because I really felt like I needed to marinate. People say to me, well, how do you create more <laughs> Marinate. Yeah. I never Can quite you? thought of it that way, but I could use some marinating. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a cook. Can you tell? That's I'm a hysterical. Chef. You have to like let it marinate in there. You don't want so, to go off half baked. So what are the four eyes? <laughs> <laughs> what? Are, explain the four eyes in the okay. book. Okay. So when I created the Days of Our Lives cookbook, as I looked back, I realized that there was a process I went through because this book isn't just a memoir with a message. It has actual um, ideas that you can take and use for your own life. The four eyes. Uh, this is before iPod, iPad, and iChat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do marinate, don't I, I you? I do marinate. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Their impulse, that feeling, that inspiration that comes up. I, I want to do something for my son. <gasps> They're trading recipes. I'm going to create a Days of Our Lives celebrity cookbook. There's your impulse, and you put it into a, an intention. Impulse, intention. I'm going to create this cookbook. Now you do an inventory. Very good to write the inventory down. I thought of everyone I, I think knew. you manifest, don't you, when I, you, you write? When you write, absolutely. There have been studies shown that if you write something down, you're much more likely for it to happen. So I wrote down, and I, I asked everybody I knew to help me. And everything I needed flooded into my life. And the last thing is investment. You start to act as if you're certain. There's that faith issue. And even if you're not in a particular faith path, I was going to say, what if you don't church, necessarily believe in God for somebody about? Excuse me, gravity exists. You don't have to believe in it. Come on. You know. <laughs> What's the problem here? Can you not? Can you not look at a flower or a leaf and say, "Hey, somebody really smart did this." You know. <laughs> we can't do that. There's an intelligence and a a beauty and a magnificence in this universe that is creating worlds all the time and we are a part of that right. and and we're called if we choose to see it to watch for the good that is coming into our lives I honestly believe and I talk about this in my book that everything we need to know and everything we need to grow is just waiting to come into our lives if we will pay attention well we are paying attention to you because when we come back we're gonna have Gloria do something Something fun. I, I've asked you to sing for us. Yes. Yeah. But we're going to talk some more. Stay with us. You're darling. We'll be right back. Coming up, Gloria performs one of her favorite songs. 